In 2018, I wrote a book called Secrets Self-Made Millionaires Teach Their Kids. And it made the cover of Money Magazine the first month that was out. So during the interview for the spread they did on the book, they asked me about the different chapters. And the first one I talked about was chapter one, which is rich people rule the world. And it's something you need to teach your kids. Well, as you can imagine, I got a lot of negative feedback on that. I did radio shows, I did the, all kinds of interviews, te television interviews, hundreds of interviews over the next six months, and people went wild. And they said, how can you possibly say that? That's wrong, it's just wrong that rich people rule the world. I'm not, I'm not saying it's right. What I'm saying is it's true. Rich people rule the world. It's in the book, it's chapter number one, and it's something we need to teach our kids. Now, am I saying that it's a good thing that rich people rule the world? No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't think rich people should rule the world. I think the masses should probably rule the world. We should all have an equal say, but we don't. We never have in the history of the world, and we never will. Rich people are always going to rule the world. That includes rich corporations and rich governments, um, you know, and rich groups of people, um, uh, political groups, PACs, all kinds of different people, but rich people, the people with the money, make the rules. Now again, is this a good thing? No, but it's true. And that's why you want to teach it to your kids because when they go to school, most likely they're going to be taught that love makes the world go round and you know, uh, rich people are narcissists and they're unhappy and they're this and they're that. They're going to tell them lies because most people have never been rich. They don't know what it's like. They know nothing about you know, the other side of life from a financial standpoint, and they're teaching things they don't really understand. And rich people ruling the world is one of them. It's something people don't want to accept. And I don't, I'm not saying I like it, because again, I don't. But that's the reality. And if you don't prepare a child to go out into the world the right way, they're going to get slaughtered by people who know better. Or it'll take them decades to understand this and then finally accept it because a lot of people do not want to accept reality. They prefer to live in delusion. So I would recommend very strongly getting this book and reading it with your kids. We, there's a workbook that you can get for free. You can download when you, when you get the book. It's inside the book. There's a link and you download the workbook and do it with your kids. They will keep these workbooks. I get stories from all over the world about this with people that fill it out with their kids and they keep the, they keep the workbook um, you know, forever because it's a special thing because most parents don't teach their kids about money. And if you're sitting there saying, well, I don't have a lot of money, I don't really understand it. That's why you read a book like this. This book is based on 30 years, 30 years of my life, 30 years plus of interviewing self-made millionaires around the world. I've gathered more data about this than I think anyone, certainly far more than Napoleon Hill gathered 100 years ago. Um, I did these interviews all face to face. Of course, I did them over a longer period of time. So it's something you can teach your kids and whether you like it or not, or they like it or not, this is the way the world works. And if you want them to succeed, which of course you do, you wanna teach them the way the world really works, not the way people wish it worked. Something to think about.